Today I'm going to show you how to make easy garlic bread. Um, one of my very first jobs ever as a teenager was working at a little cafe in Coopville, Washington on Whidbey Island. And every Friday night we would have Italian dinners and somehow I became the cook. And we'd serve spaghetti and garlic bread and this particular garlic bread uh, I've been making ever since. So. I'm going to show you how, how I do it. It's really easy and it's really good. Alright, so I'm going to start out with just a round Italian loaf, pre-cooked. Um, back when I was doing this as a teenager we had uh, small uncooked loaves of focaccia bread and that's actually what I prefer to use but I actually haven't been able to find those around me for several years now. So this will work just fine. Um, if you do have the pre-baked focaccia bread, even better. You take that and you do exactly what I'm going to do and then I'll tell you the, the difference in baking times. So the most important thing with this is the way you cut it. That's what makes this unique. So I'm going to cut this lengthwise but I'm not going to cut it all the way through. I, I'm on aluminum foil right now, which we're going to use in the baking process as well. So I'm cutting not all the way through. If you can hear that in the background, my cat's getting into some bags. So you see I have a slice, but it's not all the way through the bread lengthwise. Now we're going to do the same way across the bread in, uh, you know, serving size slices. Uh, again, we're not going to cut all the way through. So make sure you don't cut all the way through the bread. You see I've got, got some cuts there. You just keep doing that all the way across. Again, making sure not to cut all the way through. So when you're done, see it's not cut all the way through at all, but I've got plenty of individual pieces going on here. Now I've melted a stick of butter, and to that I want to add some fresh pressed garlic. Um, so if you have fresh garlic, that's the best. Otherwise, garlic powder will do in a pinch. You can just uh, put some of that in your in your melted butter. <clears throat> the best way I know of to get the garlic ready. Um, here's an individual clove, and you're going to want to peel it. And the best way I know of is to cut the ends off each side and throw those out. And that makes it easier just to kind of press down and get rid of this, this skin. It should peel right off then. Of course, getting it off your butter-stained fingers is a different story. So now I've got the bare clove. I'm going to take my garlic press here. Drop that right in there. And go ahead and press it right into my butter. If you have to do this a couple times, so let me basically just scrape that off. And 
case you're wondering, yes, my hands are clean. Now you can use as little or as much garlic as you want. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use a couple of cloves. I actually have another one right here, a smaller one, ready to go. Just going to pop that in there. You don't want it to be so overpowering that it's eye-watering. But if you wanted regular buttered bread, you wouldn't bother with the garlic in the first place now, would you? Alright. So, using my spoon here, I'm going to get off some of this garlic. it up really well. Make sure you don't have any big clumps of garlic sitting at the bottom or anything. And what we're going to do is, this is the first time your aluminum foil comes in handy. Save some mess. ourselves a little little nest here. And then, uh, and take our melted butter with our garlic in it. And we're gonna make sure we get into the cracks there. This isn't an exact science, so don't worry if you if you're not completely even or you know some spills out. It's okay to have have some of it on the outside of the bread. So make sure you try to get the inside pretty moist. And don't be afraid to use more too if you want to grab a second stick of butter and some more garlic, you know. Go right ahead. Sure you, you actually do have some on top. Let me just kind of grab the bowl and pour the rest in. Spread some around on top. to grab some basil. Sprinkle that on the top, on, on top of the butter. Not too much of this. A little goes a long way. Now, I want to completely cover it. So fold your aluminum foil up over it.
And because this is pre-cooked, I'm just going to bake it for three to five minutes on about 425 degrees. If you are using the pre-baked focaccia that I mentioned I used to use, um, same preparation, but you're going to bake it for about 20 to 25 minutes until it gets starts getting uh, nice and, and, and cooked, nice and baked. And then what you're going to do, I'm not going to need to do it with this one, but if you're using the pre-baked, uh, turn your oven on broil and open up like we had it before, like this. Slide it under there and put it on broil for about, you need to keep an eye on it. You want the top to be golden brown. Um, I'd say about a minute, no more than that. And uh, what you're gonna get then is you're gonna get an outside that's crisp and an inside that's really soft. And hopefully we'll accomplish the same thing with this Italian bread. So I'm gonna go ahead and bake this and I will be right back. All right, so I just got the bread out of the oven. Mm. It's still a little hot here, so I'll carefully peel this back. You can see that the butter has melted into it. <clears throat> and I don't have a serving size bread basket, so I'm just going to make do with a, a larger basket here. My dog would get out of the way. And part of the fun of this bread is letting people break the pieces apart themselves. So I don't really want to tear each individual piece apart. I'm going to take basically thirds you see now because we didn't cut all the way through, it's like it's like perforated paper. You can just set the pieces in there. you want to arrange it. It is oily. And there you have it. Each piece is nice and buttery and garlicky. It's nice and crisp on the top, soft in the middle. Hope you enjoy it. Uh, let me know in the comments if you try it and what you think of it. Thanks for watching.